Let's take a closer look at the code in this LabVIEW project. To begin, let's review the overall structure of the project. I have process loops that are operating in parallel in separate VIs, and we're using global variables to establish inter-process communication between these process loops. Here's FPGA main. Here's sub VI number one and sub VI number two. This is a specialized VI containing the global variables. Note that it has no block diagram, only a front panel. Now FPGA main, the only thing it's doing is invoking or calling these two VIs, number one and number two. Let's look at the details of process loop number one. This is the fast counter, and this value normally increments on each iteration of the loop, unless the reset signal is active, in which case the feedback node gets a zero, and that reinitializes the counter. The slow counter normally uh, maintains the same value, unless the fast counter value is equal to 10,000. In that case, the count value is incremented. This fact of being equal to 10,000 enables the reset signal and also sets the global variable called reset. Now let me show you how to create a global variable. We need to get into the programming functions and there's global variable. Let's go ahead and double click that to open it up. There's nothing there yet. What we need to do is create at least one control or indicator. So I'll put down a numeric control and a Boolean control. And you can put down as many or as few of these as you like. By default, it's calling it global two. You can choose uh, uh, perhaps a more meaningful name for your global variables. Then you simply select it, and then you can select the appropriate global variable. By default, it's writing a value to that global variable. Right-click and choose Change to Read, and then you can read from that global variable. When you have an existing global variable, it's pretty easy to edit it as well. I'll show you two ways. One, you can open the VI from the Project Explorer. The other way to do it is to double click on the global variable uh, itself. Let me try adding a third one. Go ahead and save that and update that file. And now when you do a select, you can pick the one that you just added.